everybody. Thank you once again for joining me. So this is, I'll call this behind the, behind the scenes, uh, behind the studio scenes of the Tamra Tamu Collective where dreams have no filters. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try and record a video while I paint. So just to give you uh, an idea of my creativity I talk about creativity on this channel a lot and for me creativity is a very spiritual process it's not just about business for me it's very much um, who I am as a creator all of us all of us are creators right but really honing in on creativity it really allows us to tap into our intuition to tap into and to be reminded of who we are and that we get to create the life that we want so behind the scenes so this is a actually it's a two-piece outfit that i put together it's a, a flare pan and it's a sleeveless very loose fitted jacket okay and it's not even, I wouldn't even call it a jacket. I don't know if you can see this. We're gonna try, try and do this. So, sleeveless jacket with pockets, very much relaxed, right? And then flare pants, okay? So, as you can see, it's all white. And I tried my best to keep it all white. But because I love color, I just, I couldn't wear it again until I painted something on it, okay? So normally when I am hand painting on clothes, I do that, I lay out my pattern pieces, cut out the fabric with the pattern pieces, and I paint before I put the garment together, before I sew the garment together. So this is not, or normal process because the garment is completed and normally I don't I don't work like that when it comes to painting on clothes so what I'm going to do is I like to I freehand most of my designs I freehand so what I mean by that is I just pick up the paintbrush dip it in the paint I know what design I want and I just paint I don't draw um, a design first to give me a blueprint I could I have the tools for it but sometimes I just like the free flow and that's how I'm going to paint on this garment so I'm going to sh going to show you uh, the two images that I'm just I'm going to fuse together so this is a one of the images that I'm going to paint onto the garment. This is actually a symbol that I created that to me represents prosperity, okay? Uh, if you know anything about magic and using symbols in magic, that is what I use this for, okay? This is a prosperity symbol. To me, that's what that, what that means, all right? So I'm going to take this symbol and I'm gonna fuse it with this image. So I'm thinking what I may do is, so let me just give you a little backstory about this image. This image came about, um, I was actually just, actually had another image planned in my mind but this is what came out. Um, this to me represents, this is fire. Fire in a situation. So sometimes situations that are hard, difficult, challenging, it can feel like, it can feel like just if things are just on fire <laughs> all around so I don't mean literal literal flames but you know if 
all of us have gone through difficult situations and that's what it can feel like. And it feels like there's no way out, right? But as you start to move through the experience and you start to see the challenges as opportunities, then you can start to see your way out. So that's where this combination of this color with blues and purples, it starts to clear the path. Then you have this orange. This could represent the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. It could represent the other side of the challenge. To me, this represents just pure gold. So whatever was going on down here has been alchemized into gold, has been alchemized into something that's going to benefit your life. So that's a little short story behind this image here. So I'm gonna find a way to fuse this, these two together. Now, I will probably disappear from the camera for a second because now I have to mix the paint. So since I will probably use maybe mix red and white to get this color then maybe add a little bit of purple and blue and then just perhaps just use red for this image up here and then work this through and here's the thing about when it comes when it comes to painting images especially if you want to use more than one just don't think about it so hard which is what I'm actually doing right now so give me one second I'm going to mix this paint and I will be right back all right so to get as close to this color as I possibly can I am going to I actually mixed up uh, just completely red red paint white and then a pinch of black. So we're gonna see how this comes out, right? And again, it doesn't, I won't be completely disappointed if the color doesn't completely match. Now, once again, I never paint after a garment has been put together, sewn together, but that's where we're at. So I'm just gonna start at the hem of the pant. And I'm using kind of a, it's a thin brush. I may need to use one of my thicker brushes to get this effect, but we'll see what happens. And part, again, part of the challenge is, is that I'm painting after the garment has been done which I would not recommend that at all. <laughs> so the color is a little bit close. So I'm just gonna keep going up the pant leg with these swirly motions. And you all let me know in the comments what creative projects or perhaps you have a creative business that you are working on at the moment. I am curious to know what that is, so let me know in the comments. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to lay this pant leg flat and again, this is why you do not paint <laughs> after you have sewn the garment because it presents 
a challenge, but that's okay. I'm wearing it. I'm the artist. So, I'm going to go all the way up the side of the pant. And I'm not going to do this on both pant legs. I'm actually putting another reason why you paint before you sew. But I'm only going to do this on one side of the pant leg. Just for some drama. And can you see that? I'm going to add a little bit more of the paint at the bottom so that it, the, the color is heavier on the bottom. But um, I just wanted to show you, just give you just a brief overview of how I work, uh, how I go about painting fabric. And so we'll probably try this again, I think, if I'm going to video this or record this, then it may be easier to see when the paint or when the, the fabric is laid flat. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, thank you for watching this, this test video, or actually this will be the second test video. And uh, yeah, until next time, cheers.